hello everyone welcome to my channel uh, learn basics so uh, today's topic is uh, difference between stateful firewall utm and next, next generation firewall so we will uh, look into like uh, what is the purpose of uh, this particular uh, utm and ngfw first we will look into that and uh, afterwards uh, we will uh, see uh, individually so first of all what is the purpose of uh, utm or ngfw so the um, first pur uh, main purpose is visibility to get the parameter label of visibility because utm and ngfw put at the parameter label or any inline so first uh, uh, purpose is visibility visibility in the sense of user uh, level of visibility application level of visibility threat uh, uh, level of visibility what are what all contents are uh, traveling to that parameter label so uh, to get a complete visibility second is performance so uh, doing all this uh, uh, processing uh, there should be some performance uh, uh, also means uh, there should not be a lacking of performance uh, while doing processing all these things uh, next is like uh, provide gateway level of security the main purpose of uh, uh, UTM and NGFW is to provide uh, security with the label of like preventing uh, malwares, uh, exploits uh, uh, with their anti-malware IDS, IPS uh, or and they stops uh, CNC communications and all. So uh, next is controlling web, uh, web traffic. So uh, whatever uh, users are accessing, it should get control on the label of uh, web filtering and all that thing next is uh, positive enforcement model so uh, next purpose like a positive enforcement model means uh, everything implicitly should get denied and whatever we allowed it should allow uh, that particular things only not more than that control on users bandwidth uses so uh, there should be a, a user bandwidth control also uh, uh, should be there because uh, if suppose uh, in your network one user are accessing so much of bandwidth so it, it can impact uh, other users and uh, in your network so uh, there should be a control of uh, user bandwidth also and uh, the last purpose last but not least uh, there should be a control uh, control on applications uh, on the basis of applications uh, in respect of port and protocol so uh, we will uh, next see the, uh, what all stateful firewall is so uh, Stateful firewall, uh, we have taken like uh, just an example, I uh, have taken uh, 100 Mbps of uh, bandwidth uh, required in my network. So uh, what is stateful firewall? Stateful firewall is a set of rules which allow or deny your traffic. So it is all on the basis of OSI layer uh, 3 and layer 4 and uh, it it uh, not it, re it only required one uh, rule uh, to allow your outgoing and return traffic. Uh, in stateless firewall, it requires two uh, rules uh, for allowing your outgoing traffic and uh, for incoming traffic also, it requires a separate rule. So uh, it is just a set of rule. So allowing and denying your uh, traffic uh, at the perimeter level. So for security purpose, you require different different uh, uh, de security devices for I IDS, IPS, uh, antivirus, antivirus web filtering proxies or anti-spam and all that things so uh, as per uh, network requirement we required each and every device should have that much of uh, throughput value suppose uh, I, I have taken a stateful firewall as a hundred mbps uh, ids and ips should also and all devices should also have that uh, particular throughput to handle uh, all over traffic if suppose uh, uh, because of some uh, challenges I have taken antivirus as a 50 mbps so uh, but it will not uh, uh, solve our purpose we have to uh, we have to disable some of the, uh, this antivirus uh, security feature for some of the rules means uh, at that rule it will not scan any of uh, for uh, viruses so uh, there are some sort of uh, means uh, whatever uh, traffic is going in and out and out to in it passes through all of the devices whichever devices we have procured so there are some sort of challenges uh, in this particular architecture and uh, 
that is first is cost wise cost uh, uh, because we have to procure multiple devices for secure uh, our gateway gateway uh, in our network so uh, for protecting uh, our gateway that requires uh, anti uh, ids ips stateful firewall uh, web filtering anti spam so all this requires separate costing and separate licensing so first challenge is cost second is uh, it has uh, there is maintaining uh, different different devices means operational wise uh, we have to maintain separate separate devices with separate separate console so uh, that uh, is again a challenge for uh, engineers to uh, take control and just get a visibility of all uh, individual devices third is serial processing because as uh, you, uh, you, you are able to see uh, when the traffic comes to stateful firewall it uh, sends then IDS IPS then it sends to uh, antivirus and it sends to web filtering then it sends to anti-spam so uh, each and every uh, device process uh, uh, that packet and uh, that contain and just uh, scan it out and just send to next uh, device so it uh, it it is called a serial uh, processing so due to the serial process scanning uh, it there is a packet delay in in network while uh, doing all this scanning so it increases latency in your network so to overcome this issue uh, there the device uh, called UTM which is unified threat management come into picture so uh, UTM what is UTM UTM just a single device which uh, ensure your all security services within that box so in a single hardware you get all that uh, security uh, feature within it but UTM uh, it looks like a single hardware but within it there are uh, different different uh, modules or engines are there uh, to handle all this traffic so whenever tra uh, packets into utm device so it first uh, checks uh, as the same as stateful firewall so it checks layer thin layer for ip and protocol uh, basis it just uh, uh, after uh, checking uh, should be allow or deny it just uh, uh, handle the traffic and handle the traffic and it just sends to IDS IPS for uh, further processing and uh, further scanning so uh, as it checks uh, that IDS and IPS uh, after uh, scanning it sends to antivirus likewise it sends to web filtering uh, proxies anti-spam and the packet goes out the beauty is like uh, uh, because uh, there are some uh, profit for this UTM it says uh, it saves our cost because it is a single hardware we don't need to procure multiple hardwares uh, it has a single uh, bundle license for all of these features we don't need to procure different different uh, uh, hardware has a, uh, as previously we saw uh, different different hardware has a different different uh, licensing so we don't need to uh, go like that so uh, it saves our UTM cost. Second, it it saves our space in uh, whatever wherever uh, we put this device in rack and all that thing. So uh, there it saves uh, our space and electricity also because it is a single hardware. There are multiple hardware, so it it uh, saves that electricity also, and it is easy to manage due to single hardware and single console. You don't need to manage multiple console uh, like as a state uh, stateful firewall and there are uh, different different devices doing all these things uh, there are certain challenges in this utm so uh, first challenge is serial processing again uh, this utm device whenever packets come it uh, sends to different different engines and uh, it is doing uh, the scanning process as a serial processing so due to serial processing again it is in, uh, there uh, increases latency uh, within your network and decreases the performance of utm device so uh, it looks like a single hardware but due to latency it decreases uh, performance of uh, this uh, particular utm device and uh, as performance is degrading so uh, security get uh, decreases because uh, 
for getting performance we have to compromise somewhere uh, with our security we uh, we just need to skip uh, some antivirus or ids ips for uh, processing scan uh, to that particular traffic so where so as Uh, latency get increase and serial uh, processing scanning we need to compromise uh, with our security over there we get limited visibility if suppose uh, there are multiple uh, engines are there and some of engines is not get updated so uh, with that uh, if suppose it is not get updated and uh, some of uh, new threads uh, get uh, passed through our firewall and Uh, IDS uh, just see their signatures and uh, it just bypass that uh, particular threat. So there is some uh, limitation in visibility. Then again, it is same uh, as a stateful firewall. And this UTM device also works on layer three and layer based pro- uh, potent protocol basis. Then OSI layer of uh, layer three and layer four. So to overcome all these challenges. there is a, a term uh, device come like a next generation firewall so next generation firewall is the same like a single hardware uh, firewall so in which uh, uh, they have a beauty in that uh, hardware so uh, whenever packets comes to in uh, with the low latency or uh, while opening with uh, packets only one time or two time uh, different different oems have different different concept so uh, opening only one or two times uh, the packets go uh, get out so the profit is uh, first is like uh, it is a application uh, layer firewall because uh, all the next generation firewalls are working on layer 7 so uh, layer 7 they have approach to uh, not relying on port and protocol they are relying on application because if you see there are uh, more than 80% of traffics are uh, passing through port 80 and 443 okay it is very difficult to segregate what all your uh, uh, genuine or business approved uh, traffic is there and what all uh, non uh, which which all should uh, get denied so that's why uh, there is something called application layer uh, in uh, next generation firewall which have a intelligence to allow the traffic on the basis of your applications it gives you next generation firewall gives you maximum visibility so maximum visibility in the sense because uh, in next generation they have the provision like different different like uh, whatever the content updates and all that they are, all are automated it i don't uh, rely manual uh, it don't required any manual intervention over there so it uh, gives you complete uh, or maximum visibility uh, in respect of your user in respect to your application in respect to your threat or co- any of content which are tra- uh, which are passing through your ngfw due to uh, the hardware part and uh, all these things uh, it has a low latency uh, while processing the packet so uh, due to low latency it increases the per- performance of the hardware so because of the uh, we saw in uh, stateful firewall and utm uh, there are uh, uh, higher latency because due to uh, that serial processing but here uh, due to hardware and all improvement uh, there is a uh, performance get increase over here even uh, while uh, Pro- while pro- uh, it taking uh, low latency while processing in packets so uh, your security get increased because uh, with that uh, you don't need to compromise with the performance or security so uh, with the low latency you are able to enable uh, all security features uh, on all rules so uh, it enhance your security uh, in next generation firewall so either it is just a same uh, maximum visibility and logging and reporting so it uh, within a ngfw uh, you can uh, have a hard, hard drive uh, or hard disk so uh, it uh, gives you it uh, logs uh, all your uh, whatever the traffic is uh, there it just store that and uh, you can get uh, the box so uh, this all this is all the uh, features and benefits of next generation firewall this is uh, so thanks 
for uh, watching i hope uh, this help you uh, to identify means uh, what uh, what is the stateful firewall what is utm unified threat management and uh, what is uh, next generation firewall and what are the difference between them so hope you like this video please comment uh, what all uh, you have a feedback and if you have any query you can ask me uh, by commenting on this particular video and uh, please share it as much as possible because uh, might be this can help to uh, someone else uh, who don't know or uh, who wants to know uh, what all the differences uh, are there and please subscribe my channel uh, because uh, i'll upload uh, multiple uh, videos like this uh, thanks for watching